esteemed members of the collaborative series. So I've been noticing that, you know, I might have explained things a little too vaguely in some areas and, um, and yeah, and I, I, I hope in general this helps to have like a physical representation. Let's begin. Alright, so this is the first wheel. This one I actually saved and I uploaded a link to it in Zoo Chat. Basically what this list is, it's just, just a list of all habitat animals within Planet Zoo. Although I did, you know, remove some subspecies on account of the fact that we don't have them in America or... Sometimes I overgeneralize, like, you know, tiger, for example, or West African lion, because, you know, with tigers, we have, you know, Sumatrans and Malayans, which the game does not have, but the game has Bengal tigers, which a lot of zoos don't have. So, what, so here you go. As you can see, the first animal selected was the Nyala. So now we must go to our second wheel. The second wheel you're going to have to make on your own. Basically, you make this wheel immediately after spinning the first one. So, so here's the thing. This isn't all the zoos that I've seen Nyala's in. But like, for, for, for example, you would put, you know, any zoo that you've seen a Nyala in, in the wheel. And then you would spin that to see, you know, and then you would essentially have to build that exhibit essentially you try to recreate it to the best of your ability after spinning the wheel uh we can as we can see i spun the indianapolis zoo which has a large kind of a field it's kind of it's kind of typical in some aspects but it has plenty of viewing areas lastly we spin the first wheel once more to figure out what animal we need to animal that I got was Galapagos Taurus. So, in turn, you would be making the Indianapolis Zoo Savannah exhibit, but you would have the Galapagos Tortoise as your inhabitant. With it in mind, you might do some fun things with the theming, you know, maybe add some more trees, maybe some more lakes. Hey, maybe even make it a walkthrough. You know, th there's a lot of creativity, I feel like, that we could really embrace with a challenge like this. And, uh, and if you have any more questions, I'll be happy to hear them and I'll be happy to answer them.